uh, try to protect that area. So, in the winter time, here is really rainy, it rains too much. And here is sometimes it snows. And, uh, Romans, you know, they were just dividing their cities just like the residential area and the it commercial area. Hmm? It doesn't snow here? So sometimes it snows. Okay. So altitude, it's around 90 meters or something like that right now. So we're nearly on the top of the mountains in here. And mm -hmm. it snows maybe just five or between five and ten days in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And mostly it rains, but it's pretty cold in here. So Romans, they were just dividing their cities, like the residential and the commercial part. And the Greek, they never did that. So, they were just putting their marketplaces and the public places right in the middle of the city. So two agora are standing next to each other right here. So that's that one is the uh, south. I'm sorry, north agora, and this is the south one. And the city was located all around this agora. Actually, the city divided just like a north and south Aphrodisias. And the north one, it was the marketplace, so it is not a highly decorated, but Look at the south one. So you can see the sidewalks and the walking galleries all around the Agora. And you can see the pool on the middle of the Agora. So the decoration of this Agora was really uh, great. So having a really big pool just on the middle of the Agora. And this was the best public place. And especially in hot summer time. And the summer here is really hot. So you're the citizen of the city. So you're coming out and you're coming to the public place. And here is really relaxed area, so it's a really great refreshing spot because you can easily take a seat next to the pool and you can meet your friends of course and you can just spend hours and hours while uh, chatting with, uh, with each other in this beautiful agora. And on the western part of the, on the west side of the agora you can see really huge public bath over there in the name of the Emperor Hadrian also, he came and visited this city. And his name was honored in the city with this huge, with the help of this huge uh, public building. Look at this, the south part of the city still. Was this a port settlement as well? Huh? Was there a port around here? No, there was not a port in here. So this was the inland city. So we are about 150 kilometers inland right now. Back then it was just a zero, right? And you know, all, all the time, the different nationalities and tribes, they just followed each other. So, you know, I'm the, the new one in here, but if I saw an old settlement in here, mm -hmm. so I can start thinking, yes, I think people have some reasons to live in here, so mm -hmm. I can settle down in here. And all the time it happened in this way. That's why I have some cities or some places are really old settlement places in the world. For example, Damascus, that is around 9,000 years old, yeah. and still no, settlement goes on there. Yes. 